Hello, Sairam students. Okay. Now in the last class, we completed with our chapter 7 that is decimals, 4 operations. Correct? So today let us continue with a new chapter that is percentage. And before we start a new topic, let's learn, first understand what is the meaning of percentage. Yes. Now the word percent comes from the Latin, Latin word that is per centum and it means per hundred or you can say for every hundred. So the word percentage is a method of expressing a number as a fraction of hundred. It is represented, symbol, it is represented symbolically using the percent sign. So this is the percent sign. Whenever you write any number, you, you percentage, you use this sign. Okay. So the word percentage means per hundred, you can see, or for every hundred. Now just see this figure. This figure here in this, it is divided into hundred small squares. Now in this grade, 50% that is 50 small squares are colored or you can see that out of 100 50% that is means 50 per 100 is colored. So we can say that 50% of this grid is colored. Now in the second figure you can say see 25 small squares are colored here 10, 20 and then 25. So which means that 25 out of 100 or you can say 25 per 100. So we can say that 25% of this grid is color. The same way in the last figure, full 100, that is 100 small squares are colored. That is, we can say that 100% means 100 per 100, which means all. So we can say 100% of this grid is colored. Okay, now... We have already learned about fractions and decimals, correct? So in this topic, we are going to learn how to convert percentage to fraction and also conversion of percentage to decimal. So let's first understand converting percentage to fraction. Now when we have to convert percentage to fraction, we will remove the percent sign and multiply the number of the percentage by 1 upon 100 and further if needed we will reduce the fraction okay so to convert percentage to fraction what we will do we will just remove the percent sign and then multiply the number by 100 that is 1 upon 100 so let's start with an example let just see here we have to convert 29 percent to fraction so what we will do is, we will write here 29 into 1 upon 100. Yes, so that is 29 into 1 when we multiply, that will be 29 upon 100. Yes. Okay, now the second one, convert 85% to fractions. Fraction. So, 85 will multiply, we'll remove the person sign first and then we'll write here 85 into 1 upon 100. So, your fraction will be 85 upon 100. Now, 85 and 100 is divisible by 5. So, you can reduce it. So, that will be We'll just do the cancellation here. 5 ones are 5. 5 sevens are 35. 5 twos are 10. And then 0. So further after reducing, your answer will be 17 upon 20. Yes? Yes. Now, based on this exercise, coming to our exercise 11.1, .1, look at the following grids and write the percentage represented. This one, you can do it in the textbook itself. The, the figure is given. You can just write down the answer 
down there itself now in the first figure out of 100 small squares that is 34 squares are colored so we can write here the answer has that means 34 out of 100 or 34 percent is colored so write the person using a symbol sign 34 percent now in the second figure out of 100 small squares that is 67 so first 10 20 30 40 50 60 and then 67 so 67 out of 100 is colored so write here 67 percent and in the last one 21 small squares are colored in the grid so we will write it here as 21 percent okay same way the second sum Again, this you can shade it in the textbook itself. Shade the indicated percentage just in the grids. And the percentage is given, you have to shade that much square. Now, this is divided into 100 small squares. Now, 43% means that is 43 small squares you will color. Now, same way, 52% means 52 out of 100. So, you will color 52 small squares. And same with the last one, 78%, which means 78 out of 100. So, you will color it this way. Okay? Yes, so you can see here in this figure, I have colored. In the first one, 43 small squ uh, squares have colored. In the second one, 52. And in the last figure, 78 small squares I have colored. That is out of 100 to show the percentages. Okay? Okay, now convert the following percentages to fractions. Now, first one, this you have to do it in the notebook, children. Exercise sums. Exercise 11.1. Now, 8%. That means you have to convert it into fraction. So, first you will remove the symbol, that is percent symbol. And then you will write it as 8 into 1 upon 100. Okay, to convert the percentage to fraction, you will multiply by 1 upon 100. Now, 8 into 1 is 8 upon 100. Now, still you can reduce this. 8 and 100, it is divisible by 2. Or you can directly divide it by uh, 8 also. Uh, sorry, 4. 4 to the 8. 100 is divisible. 4 to the 8. 4 5 the 20. So, 8 upon 100 is divisible by 4 or further if you, you can just do like this also 8 upon 100. First, you can divide it by 2 that is 2 4s are 8 and then 2 5s are 10 and then 0 and further you can again reduce it by using the table of 2. 2 2s are 4 and then 2 2s are 4 1 carry over here 2 5s are 10. Directly you can cancel it and then write the answer or you can first divide it by 2 and then you can write the answer see in next sum i've shown you the working here okay you can just calculate it and then check your answer from this slide now the second sum it is 15 percent again you have 15 you'll remove the person sign 15 into 1 upon 100 that will be 15 upon 100 which is further you can reduce it because 15 and 100 is divisible by 5. So, 5 threes are is 15, 5 twos are 10 and then 0. So, your final answer is 3 upon 20. Okay, coming to the next sum, F1, 44%. Again here, we will do the same thing. We will remove the person sign first and then multiply by 1 upon 100. Hundred. So, 44 into 1 upon 100 is 44 upon 100. Again, 44 upon 100 is divisible by 2. So, we have just cancelled this. 2 twos are 4, 2 twos are 4, 2 fives are 10 and then 0. Again, 22 upon 50 is divisible by 2. So, 2 ones are is 2, 2 ones are is 2 and 2 25 times is 50. Or directly you can 44 and 100 is directly divisible by 4. So, you can just divide it by 4. 4 11s are 44 and 4 2s are 8, 9, 10, 2 carry over, 
four FISA is twenty. Okay, so anyways you can reduce it. Coming to the next topic that is converting percentage to decimal. Now to convert percentage to decimal, we have to remove the percent sign and then divide the number by one upon hundred. So for example, forty-seven percent here, we have to change it into decimal. So we'll write forty-seven into one upon hundred. That is forty-seven upon hundred. Now to write the decimal number fraction in decimal, we have already learned in the last class. So now this it is divided. Divided by hundred, so hundred that is two places. After two places, we'll place the decimal point. So our answer is zero point four seven. Okay. Now coming to our exercise part, that is question number four. Convert the following percentage to decimals. Okay. Now here the first sum is seven percent, which you have to convert it into decimals. So what will you do? Do is seven into one upon hundred. So that will be seven upon hundred. Now we have already written it in fractions. So this we have to change it into decimals. Now hundred means two zeros. So after two places you will place the decimal point. So we already have one seven here. So we'll add a zero, one, two, and then place the decimal point. And then write here. So your final answer is zero point zero seven. Okay. Yes, that is seven multiplied by one upon hundred, which is seven upon hundred. To write it in decimal, after two decimals, you will place a decimal point. Coming to the next sum. Yes, H one fifty one percent. Again here fifty one into one upon hundred. So that will be fifty one upon hundred, which is a fraction. To write it in a decimal, after two decimals, place the decimal point. Okay, so your answer is zero point five one. Same with the next sum. There is J one two hundred and seventy percent. So two hundred and seventy into one upon hundred. So that will be two upon seventy upon hundred. So after two decimal places, place the point. So your final answer is two point seven zero, or you can write it as two point seven. So to convert it, to convert the percentage to fraction, you'll multiply divided by hundred. Okay. Now based on this top two topics, that is conversion of percentage to fraction and conversion of percentage to decimal, home assignment sums for you, which you'll be doing it in your Homework part. The first one is convert the following percentages to dis fractions, and the second one is convert the following percentages to decimals. Okay, so that's all for today, children. Meet you in the next class with the new topic on percentages. Till then, thank you for today.